Let's talk about adding vibration to our Fuse applications. Now, adding vibration is obviously important if you want to give some sort of haptic feedback to the user, and it's quite easy. So we can start off by creating a new Fuse project. And that is done by saying Fuse Create App, and then the name of your app. This app is going to be called Vibration. And you'll notice that we quickly get created project vibration at that directory. We can now CD into vibration, so change directory, and open this up inside of our editor. Now that we're here, we're presented with two files, mainview.ux and vibration.uno project. The .uno project describes the different packages and inclusions of JavaScript modules and so on. We're going to add a package to this array. And the package is going to be called fuse.vibration. Once we've done that, we can save the file. And then we can head over to mainview.ux. Inside of here, I'm going to simply put a panel. So we can have a button inside of the panel. And when the button is clicked, we can call a particular function. This function will be named vibrate. In order to get access to that function, we have to describe a JavaScript block. So let's add some JavaScript like so. And within the JavaScript, we can say var vibration is equal to require, and we want to require fuse.js slash vibration. And now we want to create a function. So the function, remember, is called vibrate. And we can say vibration dot vibrate. And this takes a parameter of time of type number. So what we can do is simply say one. This will then vibrate the device for one second. Finally, we could export this function by saying module.exports vibrate vibrate. We can then run a fuse preview and of course a fuse preview targeting it at iOS or Android. I have an Android device plugged in, so I'll be targeting this at Android. And in order to do that, we'll say dash dash target Android. So this will start the build of our application. It should download any UNO packages that we've added, such as fuse.vibration. And then we should have our application on screen. We will, of course, need to add the alignment of center to our panel. This will put this in the center. And we'll also add some text to this. So the text will say, click me. So to give you an example of what it looks like, you can see it here on screen. We have simply a button saying, click me. And when we click this, we do get that vibration. Let's try it out. So if I now click the button, I hope you can hear that, but it definitely did vibrate for one second. So that about wraps up our vibration within Fuse. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out paulhalliday.io. We do have an article on this. And until next time, I'll see you very soon in the next video.